So if I were to go around over here and let's say, for example, bring in a template over here and click on this, then certain color scheme is there on this particular design right here. But I can go around onto the brand kits area right here, just like this, and then bring in a color scheme that I have right here. For example, I can go around and click on this one and that particular color scheme will be applied onto my design. But what you can also do is you can go around and create your own uh, brand as well. So you can go around and make out brand kits right here. In that case, you can go around and add in your brand right here just like this and then select out the brand color that you like. Let me just go around and delete the, these out right here. So let's say I want to base off my brand off of my logo right here. So let me just go around and delete this. And over here in my media, I'm going to go around and bring in my TutuTube logo right here. So once I do that, I'm going to go around over here on my brand kit right here. And now I'm going to go around and uh, uh, utilize uh, these colors right here. So I'm just going to go around and cl cl click on color picker right here, just like this. And then I'm going to utilize this color picker right here, just like this, to take the sample color, just like this right here. So that is my first color. Then I'm going to go around over here and then I can choose black right here. And I can go around and choose a bit of whitest color right here, just like this. You can also make um, the color a bit transparent right here. And now I'm going to go around and describe this brand as DigiTube and press next right here. Then I need to go around and choose out a font over here just like this. So let's just go around over here and select, let's say for example, um, um, a mono right here just like this, mono uh, type right here just like this. Uh, not not right, right that, but let me, let me just go around over here and type in, let's say for example, um, this one right here, just like this, and this is what you have as you can see. So there's display right here, as you can see right here, that uh, you can go around and select out the style that you want. So let's just go around and select out this style right here and click on next. Now you need to go around and select out a text for subheading, and in that case, let's just go around and select out something like the hand black. And I'm going to go around and now select out another text right here, and for this, let's just go around and select out um, um, uh, something, um, something quite readable like Roboto right here and click on next. And this is what you see as you can see, and this is your brand as you can see right here. And you can go around and click on save right here and the brand is saved out right here just like this. So that is what you have right here. So this is the brand that you have, um, uh, that you just made. And that is how you can go around and make your brand kit, um, inside of Microsoft Designer. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.